Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So uh, we've got an exciting vlog for you. Uh, very exciting. We are here at the uh, XL, XL London. XL London for the Disney 100 uh, exhibition. So uh, yeah, come along with us and uh, let's get started. Woo! So we just made it to the XL in London and we're just on our way to the Disney 100 exhibition. So mum, are you excited? Yay, very excited. Very good. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited as well. So uh, let's see what they have to offer. Yeah. Hooray! Hooray! Well, we're here now. So yeah, we're here now, and uh, yeah, you can get an exclusive uh, green screen photo. I'm sure that you can purchase later on. But yeah, excited! Very excited! Hooray! So yeah, we just had our picture. Uh -huh. They said that we can uh, scan these at the end uh -huh. to uh, to get our pictures. I don't know what that is, but we'll have a look in a minute. Um, I think it's a character finder. Right. So yeah. Anyway, good times ahead. Here we go. Hope you'll enjoy your visit today and look forward with us to the next 100 years of Disney Magic. <laughs> <laughs> A young man from the American Midwest, along with his older brother Roy, started a cartoon studio in the back rooms of a small real estate office in Hollywood, California. This was the small beginning of a family entertainment company that would create unforgettable stories. Characters that become beloved friends, wondrous experiences, and music that has become the soundtrack of our lives. That young man was Walt Disney, a master storyteller whose imagination knew no bounds and who delighted in making the impossible possible. Disney 100, the exhibition, is a journey through 100 years of Disney magic. Presented in themed galleries, based on Walt Disney's creative concepts and philosophies. These include storytelling, creating believable characters, the spirit of adventure and discovery, the magic of sound and music, the world around us, real and imagined. Curiosity, imagination, and technological innovation, the worldwide wonder of the Disney parks, and an everlasting sense of optimism about the future. Walt Disney famously said that it was all started by a mouse, but it really was all started by Walt himself. His philosophies became the foundation of the Walt Disney Company. They still inspired Disney's artists, filmmakers, imagineers, and the storytellers of today. satisfaction in developing ideas into reality when we consider a new project we really study it not just the surface idea but everything about it and when we go into that new project we believe in it all the way we have confidence in our ability to do it right and we work hard to do the best possible job there's really no secret about our approach we keep moving forward opening up new doors, doing new things, because we're curious. And curiosity keeps leading us down new paths. We're always exploring and experimenting.
Exactly. Amazing. Exactly. Very popular. Who? <laughs> See how tall Mummy Singh is with the Incredibles. Mummy Singh, 160. You're, you're the same height as Violet. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see how tall Pushing Singh is. So you have to put your hand there then. And let's see. Can I eat too? I'm saying height is Mr. Incredibles' mouth. <laughs> Look, there's uh, Elliot from Pete's Dragon. Got Mrs. Incredible. Got uh, an original Jiminy Cricket. There's Jaffa Cake. And there's Lightning McQueen. Judge Doom from Who Frame Roger Rabbit. Timothy Mouse from Dumbo. Moana. Remy. Ah, oh, it's Bianca Maquette from The Rescuers. And Daisy Girl. There's Maui. There's, oh my goodness, there's Mr. Tumnus from the Chronicles of Narnia. Well, that's a throwback. I haven't seen that in a while. And then there's Hugo from Hunchback of Notre Dame. There's Hercules and Russell. An original Captain Hook, more of a concept, I believe. Just to get the motion right. 
and then there is the fi fully finished cell that they would print and put in the final film. So this is a frame from the actual film 101 Donations, which is pretty cool. Which character would you like to pick, Mum? Um, do Maleficent. You want to do Maleficent? Ooh, evil. So, what do I do? Sorry. Press the tick. Go on, Oh, that's awesome. So you get kind of like a dossier on the character. So we have... Oh, that's awesome. Making your ears bleed. <laughs> so this is an Olaf puppet from Disneyland California Adventure Park, and it's uh, uh, it's at the Hyperion, and the Hyperion is the same theater that they uh, performed a Rogers the Musical at. So yeah. What's up, Mom? You want thingy meat jump? Thingy meat bumps? I got. How many? What? Do you got? What was that, Kish? You got thingy meat bumps. I got twenty. But who cares? No big deal. I want the thingy meat bumps. This is Kira Knightley's outfit uh, in Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. This one she becomes the pirate captain. But yeah, let's have a look at her swashbuckling stories. Oh, that's very cool. Is that the... That's a ship in a bottle from Pirates of the Caribbean 4. That's really cool. Tipped up from Moana. And there's Lilo and Stitch, also set in the Pacific Islands, very cool. Oh, I love that, that's amazing. That's one thing that's really cool about Lilo and Stitch is that their backgrounds are all watercolour um, to reflect like kind of how oceanic Hawaii is, and it's very, very cool. This is an actual animated cell from Peter Pan. Now, here, the reason why there's two characters on here is because they're interacting and holding on to each other, so one would have to influence the other, therefore, you know, they're on the same cell, whereas normally they'd be on different cells because there'd be different animators uh, for each character. So these are props from the new Peter Pan and Wendy film. So there's Captain Hook's hook that Jude Law actually wore. <laughs> And the necklace that Wendy wears, very cool. That's very cool. Mum, I bet you'd like that in our in our living room. I would love that in our living room. Are you thinking of a magical thought? Of a magical heart? Thought! Oh, thought. 
Any happy little thought? Yeah. Bye thinking of sleigh bells, thinking of snow. <laughs> Off we go. Off we go. You can really fly. We go fly. Exactly. Fly. We got there in the end. We got there. I've never seen Star Wars. Is it any good? <laughs> I'm not sure. Hmm. I'm not really sure. Could I'm it be sure. that our whole channel was founded on, on <laughs> something related to Star Wars? Exactly. Exactly. You're awesome, Hogan. Exactly. Link in the description. 1984. No, 1984 they partnered with Star Wars. They didn't own Star Wars just yet. They owned Star Wars in 2012 when Bob Iger bought it for 2.2 billion. Wow. Yep. Yeah, yeah. There's Han Solo's Lucky Dice. Oh. <laughs> okay. There's a Porg. And then there's a BB-8. Fun fact, the BB in BB-8 stands for Beach Ball. Is it? Yeah, well that's, that's what it's for, yeah. <laughs> and here we have, ooh, the ancient Jedi Toads. Ooh, ooh. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of detail there. And they are from The Last Jedi. And whose lightsaber is this? Luke Skywalker's. Wow. This is specifically from The Last Jedi. This isn't Return of the Jedi, but it's it's from that movie. But yeah, it's very cool. And here we have a first order stormtrooper from The Last Jedi. Very cool. I've had my fair share of interactions with them. There's the Black Widow suit from Black Widow. That's very cool. Hmm? Yeah. We've got Thor from Thor Ragnarok. Captain Marvel from Captain Marvel. We've got Star Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy. We've got Iron Man from Infinity War. Uh, we've got Captain America's helmet from Civil War. As you can tell, because the ears are cut out. And then we have the Ant Man helmet from the first Ant Man movie. Very cool, the iconic helmets of the MCU. There's Captain America's shield. <laughs> Specifically, that's the shield that he had in Endgame that he passed down to Sam Wilson. As you can tell, the silver bit has these weird decals on them. So yeah. And here we have Shang-Chi's outfit from Shang-Chi, which is made of dragon scales, which is very cool. So before we finish up in this room, just what do you Well, I think it's really cool that how they've um, included everything. But yeah, it's really. Mm. Mm -hmm. They bought Marvel, they bought Disney. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, like, you know, it should be in there. Like you say, it's the last hundred years, isn't it? Mm. But yeah. Welcome to Walt in Space. Yeah. So this is all from Enchanted, a very underrated Disney film, if you ask me. Uh, there's a very enchanted. Yeah. No, it's enchanted. So yeah. So there's the dress that Giselle wears. So that's very cool. And it says this one was actually worn by Amy Adams, which is very cool.
the back of your shirt, Kish. So here we have a genuine Academy of Art. Subscribe and everything. It's amazing. We've actually held a Academy of Art. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's quite heavy.
take care of the stories. Let's have a look. just getting very prepared because of what lies ahead so yeah we're just getting started folks
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what really want one? <laughs> what, a life size one? Yeah, can you get one for me? Alright, I'll sculpt one. Yes, please. But yeah, what were your thoughts about the whole exhibition then, Mum? It's amazing. Mm -hmm. I loved it. Um, just, yeah, the whole history, the props, props in the parks, um, props in the movie, everything. It was just, it was just uh, incredible. I loved it. Um, and that's part of the statue, is the icing on the cake. Um, yeah. It's amazing. I, I just need to go back to a park now. <laughs> how about you? Well, I really loved it as well because, like, you know, we're both huge Disney nerds. So, um, yeah, it was really cool seeing how it all started from, like, the beginning and everything. And, um, like, seeing, uh, uh, like, a very in-depth look at the company itself. It was very nice, uh, very, like, wholesome to see, like, the beginnings and everything and where they've gone to now. Yeah, it was, it, was a, it was a journey, definitely a good journey. And, uh, yeah, this was icing on the cake as well, I have to admit. And, uh, yeah. Does it, it make you want to go back to the parks oh, 100%, 100%. now? 100%. And yeah. uh, also, I think we should go back to the parks just to buy the mini statue of the parks uh, thing again. Yeah. Um, yeah, we can never have enough park statues. <laughs> exactly. There we are, perfect. So we have very cool. Oh, I like these. They are cool, aren't they? Let's have a look. That one's nice. Is on it. Oh, yeah. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, that's cute. It's very cool. Oh, that's nice. So, we're just making our payment now. Uh, let's see, it's gone through. Very cool. Thank you for the order. Pickup desk is located after the shop. Cool. So here we have a limited edition Disney 100 Mickey Mouse Stife Bear and this is £300 so yep <laughs> these are all the uh, rare expensive collectible type things so yeah
killed the goods, very good. We need much needed rest now because we have been walking for like a Disney movie's length, like a lot. Well the thing was, we, I think it was about half of the we got here, it's almost three o'clock now. How long have we been here for? A very long time. How, well, how long? About three and a half hours. Three and a half hours? I, I could have watched Lord of the Rings. We've got a reservation, but we had a reservation between 2.45 and 3. <laughs> so uh, I might need to just call them and tell them we're running a bit late. Right, right. But uh, yeah, do you know what? It was worth it. Definitely. Okay. Please come see the Disney exhibition. Uh, the lady just said that uh, it's still running um, for, it's going to be for six months. Um, so she said uh, to April. So, uh, so definitely. Thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and I guess we'll see you all soon. Bye! Bye.